This is Field Sports Channel News. Police say they've spoken to an animal rights extremist who appeared to hit a horse during a Boxing Day meet. The female protester was filmed shouting abuse at members of the Kent Hounds and then she appeared to use her protest placard to hit one of the 65 horses being ridden. The horse seemed spooked by the attack and reared at the crowd. Her behaviour has been described as incredibly dangerous and reckless. No one in the large crowd watching the parade was injured. Dominic Coots from the Kent Hounds said several other horses were spooked by the attacks. These people, they're the same that glue themselves to roads, that disrupt sporting events, interrupt theatre productions and deface war memorials. They have no care for animal welfare. They just have a hatred for us, for what they call toffs on horses. They oppose you, they oppose us, they oppose tradition. And it's born from a fundamental lack of understanding and empathy. Today, hunting is at the front line. When they finish with that, it will be shooting, it will be fishing, it will be farming. Three people from the world of shooting have received medals in the New Year's Honours list. Elaine Barnwell, Adrian Morrow and Rob Collins. Elaine has helped to raise more than £200,000 for the Royal Marines charity in 10 years of volunteer work organising their annual clay pigeon shoot. Adrian is the chief executive of the Irish Grouse Conservation Trust, which has been conserving the depleted grouse populations and their natural uplands habitats in Ireland since 2006. There's a link to our film about the IGCT below. And Rob's charity Pass It On Young Sports helps get children and young people into country sports. All have been awarded the British Empire Medal. Congratulations from all of us to all of you. The publishers of The Big Issue have printed a full page ad calling for pheasant shooting to be banned. In the Christmas special edition of the magazine, the charity Animal Aid took out a full page ad calling for a ban on shooting pheasants and partridges. It claims the shooting industry is propped up by taxpayers' money and asks people buying the magazine for the homeless to sign a petition. Shooting organisations say misinformation from the charity needs to be corrected. Homeless charities, the Country Food Trust, they've given out three million meals, has been provided by the shooting community to the homeless. So we need to remember all this and educate people on it. The RNLI has been condemned for refusing donations gathered by fox hunters in Northern Ireland. The Dungarvan hunt was due to take donations to the local branch of the rescue charity at its 31st of December event. The life-saving charity says it won't take the money because it doesn't support fox hunting, which is legal in Northern Ireland. The RNLI's refusal has led to widespread criticism and questions about the relationship between the charity and field sport supporters, some of whom have made huge donations in the past. The RNLI says it decided to decline the Dungarvan donation because fox hunting is illegal in many regions where it operates. Asked whether the same ruling now applies to trail hunting and shooting in England, it declined to comment further. Rebecca Vardy is a new champion of trail hunting after she rode out at a Boxing Day meet. Antis attacked the wife of footballer Jamie Vardy on social media after she posted on her Instagram account that she'd enjoyed a festive day with her new horse at a trail hunt in the Vale of York. She posed for pictures and said there was a great turnout and even better port and mulled wine. Rebecca was back out on her horse a few days later, joining the Reddys Field Bloodhounds in Leicester. Basque has revealed it has awarded over £100,000 to conservation projects over the last 12 months. It handed just over £50,000 to the Cairngorms National Park to help its work in conservation for the Capercaillie. RSPB led efforts to preserve the Capercaillie, which have so far cost more than £5 million, are ideologically opposed to predator control, and so Capercaillie numbers have halved in the past decade to around 500. Basque's Wildlife Fund has donated €45,000 to the Sotka Wetlands Project in Finland. It's in the process of helping to create 40 wetland sites to benefit wildfowl. The fund has also granted £25,000 to help the return of hen harriers in the UK. Last summer, there were 141 hen harrier chicks fledged from 54 nests as part of a breeding programme run by gamekeepers. How about this for a bonus catch? Its exact weight is unknown, but contractors netted this large mirror carp during work to drain and clear the Welsh Harp Reservoir in northwest London. It's one of 100,000 fish that the Canal and River Trust is removing from the reservoir, which is draining before a clean-up operation to remove tonnes of litter from the 170-acre site and to service the sluice gates. There's bad news for anglers hoping to cash in when the waters reopen after the clean-up, though. No fishing is allowed. Good news, however, for anglers on local canals, that's where the Canal and River Trust 
is rehoming the fish. A shoot in Yorkshire has curried favour with the homeless. The Bolton Abbey estate donated pheasant curries cooked up by member Simon Grace to the charity Homeless Hampers to help stave off winter chills. The food helped feed 50 people as part of an initiative by the Leeds-based organisation. And staying with Cooking Game, our own Kayak Bryn has been shortlisted for the Eat Game Awards 2024 in the category of Media Influencer of the Year. To vote, follow the link in the description below. Closing date is the 10th of January. A team of rowers, including two Field Sports Nation members, have passed the halfway point in their quest to cross the Atlantic. Former soldier Tom Atkinson and serviceman Paul Roadnight are part of a four-man crew taking part in the 3,000-mile World Toughest Row. These are the latest pictures from their boat, Atlantic R2R, which is moving steadily up the field. They're currently fifth overall and are third in the four-man race. They're hoping to raise more than £10,000 for services charities. And finally, a very rare mid-air collision. Filmed on a pheasant shoot by viewer Tommy Hollow, two pheasants flying out onto the drive that clearly don't see each other. Thank you, Tommy. You are now to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts.